because of our speed and quickness we like to get out and run but I, I think it's just feeling more comfortable and being prepared we know they run a box and one a three two a two three a triangle and two and we've talked about every one of them and so uh, the play, players feel comfortable and in, in executing against any zone Matthew go ahead thanks ladies uh, this one's for Natasha you obviously played this lead a long time and tonight you had the main guarding of Asia and I'm just wondering where you've seen her game grow and just what about her as she's gotten better has made her so difficult to guard uh Asia is a great player overall like I watched her grow up from being a rookie until now she's a phenomenal player uh she's just been working her game like non-stop and you could tell by playing uh yeah she's she's just a great player Rafiq, go ahead. Rafiq, you're muted. <laughs> this is Rafiq with nothing but that sports talk. Coach, even though the Aces did are trailing to nothing, they managed to win a three-point battle. Like, how helpful will that be going into game three this Friday? Battling how we battled oh it'll be extremely important obviously we've got to you know they went on those different runs and then we'd battle back and then they would go on another run and then we'd have to battle back and so we've just got to sustain a lead stay close and and continue to execute at a high level of what we want to do last question jordan go ahead Hi, my coach is for LT, so I felt like you played a much better game compared to game one. Thank you. I rebounded the aces, you took care of the ball. It just seemed like some of the second chances opportunity killed you. So what's going to be the biggest thing heading into game three when it comes to those second chance opportunities? Keep doing it, right? Just take it up a notch, win a couple of more of those extra possessions. If you think about that, if we had a couple of more stops, a couple more rebounds, scored a couple of chip shots, made a couple of free throws, we win. So it's just those little things that make the big things happen. Thanks, guys. Thank we'll be right you. back with again. Thank you. All right, welcome to today's post-game press conference featuring guard Ari Gabriel Wally. We're going to start with Zoom this time. Uh, so please utilize the raise your hand function, uh, and then we'll go to anybody in the room if there's anything. So Peter, please go ahead and start. Uh, Arike, uh, what was the difference between the, the first half and the second half for you? Uh, I think, you know, we got a little bit more aggressive. Uh, I think we missed a lot of bunnies, me personally, in the first half. So I tried to lock in a little bit more defensively and offensively. Peter, go ahead. We got more than one. You're good. Yeah, um, and then also down the stretch, you guys were in it, sort of kept it, but couldn't really get enough stops. What do you see from those last, you know, few minutes there? You can take into game two and game three, but also you'd like to change as well. Uh, just to be smart, we don't, you know, want to put it into anybody's hands, whether it's calls or whether it's Vegas. You know, just play our game and be smart because they're they're good at drawing fouls, and so we got to keep our hands off a little bit. But I think they got, you know, 50-50 balls in the crunch time. You know, when we cut it to four, they got a foul and they got two free throws, and or you know, we cut it to like five or something, and then they got a quick shot. So definitely just staying aware because they're, you know, they're always in attack mode. Thanks, Rika. Matthias, go ahead. Uh, hi, Arike. A uh, quick question about your usage. Um, it feels like Vegas has been pretty intentional about putting two on the ball against you, either on ball or coming off some of the off ball actions. Um, what are some ways that you feel like you can generate some easier looks for yourself? Uh, trying to become more of a screener. You know, if they're not going to leave me or if they're going to have two with me, you know, if I get screens, I can get people open. But uh, Becky's a great coach, so, you know, their defensive schemes are definitely tough, but definitely got to find a way to get open. Thank you. Rafiq, go ahead. This is Rafiq with the Butte Sports Talk. Yeah, you, you guys had a slight edge to the rebounding and three-point shooting. How will that help you win game three in order to, to cut the series down on two games to one? Uh, definitely staying in there and rebounding, but like I said, we missed a lot of bunnies. You know, we got the rebounds. We'll try to put it up and missed again. And then free throws. Uh, we lost by seven. We missed seven free throws. So that came back to bite us. Obviously, it wasn't just that, but those are things, you know, points that we left on the table. 
Anybody and speaking of Ms. Freefo, is to follow up, um, what, 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 is, what are you supposed to tell Tierra um, McCowan about the two Ms. Freefos that would have cut into a three-point game? Uh, the game doesn't come down to that, you know. Uh, that's definitely not Big T's fault. We did a lot of, we had a lot of mistakes in the whole, you know, game. So I'm not really worried about those free throws. She'll knock them down next game. Appreciate you. Thank you. Look at the next game. Sabrina, go ahead. Hey, Enrique. Uh, obviously, you guys made a change in the starting lineup today with Odyssey at the point. Uh, how does that affect what you guys are trying to run, or does it at all? Uh, it doesn't affect anything. You know, it's always next man up, and that's what Coach wanted to go with. And, you know, whatever she says goes. And we have, you know, three great point guards, and none of them, you know, really care who starts. It's, it's just about, you know, who is productive. So whether it's Crystal or V or O on the court, you know, we're going to ride with them regardless. Enrique. Straight Enrique Jose Volante, Straight Bet Sports. You guys had a lot of runs where you were coming back close, got it close, but yet couldn't capitalize to take the lead. How frustrating is that? And what were the Aces doing where it got to the point where you just couldn't get past that hump? Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, it, it takes a lot to come back on the Aces, so kind of trying not to get ourselves in that hole in general. But uh, like I said, they're a great team. And, you know, when we cut it, they figure something out and got points. But if we can not make, you know, mental mistakes when we cut it like that, I think we'll be okay. So we just got to watch the film and uh, get better for Friday. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Travel safely, Dallas. We'll see you guys on Friday. Thanks.